Fish are always wet, don't matter. A little wet. Fish are always wet. Now they're dry. Once you pull them out, then they're wet. They're always wet. You're dumb. You're late. You said seven. You said seven. No. I didn't stop got McDonald's. 6.45, I said be here. Big ass fucking calves on you. Yeah, I'll kick you out the door. Like but those fucking door. calves you will, bud. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what you look like. Gotta yeah, keep my glasses dry. My fresh dew. Ready to go catch some creek chubs. You can throw a spare today, so don't worry. You ain't gonna tell me what to throw. I'm, I'm telling you right now where you're throwing. You're throwing me a dumb muscle. Fish, all the Conewago here. Let's do a nice release on them. and retrieve. Still on the chain bait on her. Oh, just had another one. Try to keep it up towards the top of the surface. There's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, whoa. Lost it. <laughs> yeah. A bunch right here. A bunch of them right here. Bluegills. They're, they're not. They're not bluegill. They're some kind of species of. No, they're like they're called um. They're not a green sunfish. Either. That's what they're called. There we go. First smallmouth of the day. 
There we go. First, First mod off of the day, baby. You think? Huh? I'll... First mod off of the day. There you go. It's gonna be a good day, boys. Gonna be a good day. What's up, everyone? Endless Approach Outdoors here. Today, me, Brandon, and Bill behind the camera are out here fishing a beautiful Conwalka Creek. It was overcast today, which is gonna be a great time to get out here and fish. It's not sunny, the fish are gonna be a little skittish, not gonna be hiding. Uh, we had a little rain this morning. Didn't really do much to the water besides add more food to it, and I think we'll help the fish get a little more uh, active. Water's super nice right now. We're wearing boots, but the water feels great when it gets over, you know, we have been knee deep already, yeah. <laughs> but we caught a bunch of smallies, it's sunfish already, so. Yeah, I'm just using a spinner. Inline spinner. Inline spinner. I got a T shaft from Natural Forge with a uh, 30 second ounce ball head jig. Got my fishing hat on. You don't want to get sunburned back in his neck, so you know, keep yeah. that on. I got a big neck. I keep the sun off of it. But, hope you enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell. It's free. It helps us out. Helps us create better videos for you to enjoy. Little smally. He came up, smashed the shit out of his little pocket right here. He keeps smacking it. Try to get him this time. Oh, good job. Here. Oh, real dark, real dark rock bass. Black crappy Bill. Look how dark that thing is. That's a big old rock, big old dark rock bass. The naked eye, it looks like it's just all shallow water going through here. But it's just it's, it's just the spots you don't see until you're on top of them that it's a nice little divot that the fish are just sitting in. Waiting for food to come over top of them. I'm kind of just kind of just fan casting along everywhere here. And once you usually pick up one or two fish, I mean one fish, you usually another one there or so. Nice little bass. I if I hit record because Bill told us to unrecord it. Nice little one. You get bigger than that in here. We'll find them. Good job. We'll find them. Touch my tips. There we go. Go team. Go team. Team effort. There's no, there's no I in team. But there's yeah, a it's in the capital A. a. There is a me. You're smart, man. Look like a spring over the edge of my patient there. Yeah. Pretty sunfish. This is this is be a long ear. Name that name that sunfish in the YouTube comments below. But it's a long ear. So many different subspecies. So many different. I think these might be long ears. That might be long ears. 
the long ear sunfish. Not sure, but I told him earlier in the video that if you can uh, leave a comment with below what kind of fish it is. What kind of sunfish it is, I should say. Right, so far, we're not doing terribly bad. A lot of sunfish, a couple of smallmouth. You see like the trend is, they're sitting underneath these overhangs. Uh, we got a little bit of rain, so it's probably pushing bugs and stuff off the trees. Um, some good food. But yeah, I hope we get some into some bigger smallies. I think the biggest one we had so far maybe eight inches. Not too terribly big. Using the T shad. He's got an inline spinner. Seems to be working. They both like it. Got more fish than doing so far. I don't think so. I want the five. I'm at right, six. Settle down. What is on my line right now? Huh? Look at this thing. Huh. <laughs> small, small off of the day. How much do you think that fish weighs? At least three pounds. Oh, for sure. Done now. Longer than that thing, as far as I can pour, I fell over. Bass wise, there's nothing sitting in it. Pretty little blue gill. Beautiful fish. Oh! Oh, yeah. There's one. Oh, right here, probably there's one. This one. Oh. It's the bass right here. <laughs> I saw him come up the first time he missed it. Tossed it back out there and he hammered it. Hey, hunger. Hey, hungry. That's a big female right there. It's the cream of the crop. The That's cream will rise to the top. Another one. And another one. Another one. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that was a f fucking frog? It is! What? Oh my god, I just caught that frog by the leg! <laughs> Dude! Oh! My guy, GoPro. My guy, GoPro. Do you see that? I don't think he got eaten. This is no joke. We just seen this frog. What was he, just chilling out there? He swimming across it. Swimming across it. I thought something grabbed hold of it. Yeah, I did. I ain't poking him. Dude, what are the odds of that? I just happened to cast over there because we thought he got hit by a fish. And I ended up catching him. He's pissed now. Well, yeah, he just got drugged by the water backwards. <laughs> Dude, what are the odds? What are the odds of that? It's his hat. This hat right here. Nice. 
This is bigger. Oh, knock him off. Probably found a decent one. Not bad. A little bigger. We'll find a bigger one here. Chonka. Nice bass. Nice small one. We'll give him a little release back in the water here. He's off. <laughs> so the problem is, like I said, it's September, it's cold out, all the salmon have uh, went up trout upstream, the mate, so we just gotta watch out for the Kodiak. Kodiak bear. Yeah. It's so crazy at this time of year, mate. Small now. Yeah, he's real dark. Black crappie. <laughs> real dark fish. Real dark, real fat. I don't know if you can see how fat he is. They seem like the last one. Yeah, look how chubby he is. Nice belly on it. Yep, yep. Another one. We're just slamming them here off these soft plastic. Look at that nice little, little sunfish there. What kind of sunfish is that? I don't know what it is. Big mouth sunfish. <laughs> Looks like green sunfish. Yep. Nice little guy. Yep. War mouths. War mouths. They, we have them up here too. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like down south didn't have uh, black crappie. It's weird. It's like two of the guys in the middle. Got a nice one right here. Yeah. Feels like it. A big old rock bass. It's goddamn crappy. Big old rock bass. Look at that. I think I officially caught the biggest fish of the day. Barely hooked him. Big old rock bass right there. Big boy. I got big hands. That's a big fish. Yes, sir. That's a big rock bass right there. Go ahead, let him go. Woo. Bill.
Squirrel season isn't in yet. Alright everyone, we had a great day fishing, caught tons of fish. Couldn't really find any really big ones, but we had a blast, caught some nice sized ones. Saw lots of wildlife today, saw ducks, there's one coming down right now. Uh, saw snakes, we saw some frogs. Uh, we had a great day, the weather held out a little rainy this morning, but by the time we got here, the fishing was great. Can't really complain, we had a heck of a day. The, the tea shad from Natural Forge really tore it up. We had uh, the crystal color, the silver color, then we had like a black shag color. Either or just really tore it up. I had fun. He had fun. That's, <laughs> all, that's all that matters. Now it's fun. It's kind of amazing on these creeks like this. You know what what all is in them. You know, rock bass, bluegills, sunnies, smallmouth. You know. I mean, we're talking about we were fishing spots maybe like three feet deep or two feet deep. The fish you would never think a fish would be there, and out of nowhere, it won't come up out of the rocks. They blend in so well. Yep. The camouflage, natural camouflage, is unreal. How a bird sees that or something like that is insane. We caught a bunch of fish. Oh, it's, it's a lot. It was fun. It was fun today. Yeah. Over here, I caught the biggest. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. You know what I'm just saying. <laughs> and the first. But no, it was fun. It's fun to get out here with Dylan. Phil behind the camera. He got to fish a little bit. Just uh, having fun. That's what we do. And I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell. We'll see you next time. See ya. This video is brought to you by Bill Foster Films LLC, contraband baits, only bait slab certified, bow tie jigs, great bait, equal big fish, natural forge baits, relax, breathe, fish natural, WE Sales Sport and Goods, Moses Family Jerky, take home, made anywhere, kicking bass fish attractants, just use it, Denali Rods, tournament tested, tournament tough. Vicious fishing, get vicious. Vika gear, silence is deadly. Wu tungsten, fishing is a contact sport. Amphibia eye gear, cause earth is mostly water.